Hey friends, I'm just showing you my pond and showing you my aquaponic system. I have set up a pipe that goes down into my pond, goes deep into my pond, and a U siphoning system to draw the pond water down into a well that I made. The well is about four feet deep and I have a pipe running the water down, siphoning from the pond down into the into the well that I made. I have a safety crossover down below if you can see that. It's a crossover made so that it cannot go, the pond water level cannot go any lower than that level there before the pump will just not pump any water out so my fish won't get harmed if, the, if something happens like uh, floods or something I'm not really sure not just so it's so the fish don't run out of water in the pond basically water comes up to this point here or actually this is my uh, air this is my siphon starter pipe comes up here this is a, a viewing uh, uh, hose I put in here so I can view the water as it rises up here when it rises up to this point here I release my air my vacuum air 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 pipe is right here. You can see how it sucks my thumb in a little bit. If you look at that, you can see the water bubble up to that point. Well, it's already siphoning, so the water's already siphoning down anyways into the well. This other pipe pumps is connected to a, I have a, a an air hose. I have an air pump right here which blows air into here, this part right here. I've tie wrapped that um, hose to the main pipe and all the way at the bottom, at the bottom four feet down, I have the hose curled back up into this pipe. The air is blowing the water that's above it, which the water's trapped down inside this pipe. The water gets pushed up this pipe all the way up to this section. The water gathers in this area here and flows down this pipe which flows down to my garden area. That's my greenhouse. I have an avocado tree growing right there, looking really nice. Anyways, the water comes into this section here and flows into my growing beds. I have a tomato plant there. A tropical bird of paradise is actually growing right in this little section here. I have a garlic and I do have some serrano peppers growing right here's one little serrano pepper there one there and a nice size one there starting to grow of course this is all experimental I actually have a pumpkin plant growing there I just I pulled it out of the ground and decided to stick it in there to see what would happen Anyways, the water level is getting full. It's getting to the point where it's going to overflow any moment now. In fact, we'll just go ahead and watch it flow if uh, you care to. As you can see, the water starting to flow down into this little break cup that I have here. The way it works, I'm going to back off here so you can see. The water level inside these four buckets or four... Uh, bins rises and falls every 30 minutes it rises to the level about right here this pipe is the drain pipe out of each one all collected this is a U siphon when the water level gets up to this level here and rises above this level all the air gets the air starts coming out and the air starts flowing out this way down the pipe and you can see down here you might be able to see the air bubbles starting to appear here. Once the water level gets above that red line, as you can see there, the water bubbles, air bubbles should start completely pulling out of this section here. Once all the air bubbles are out, then it's full water flow. This whole system will self flush and the water level will go down, allowing the roots to breathe of the plants. These plants are just recently planted. There's nothing growing yet. They're, they have not germinated. 
that's all I have for now. This is going to flush here in a minute. You can see the bubbles. I think I'll wait another minute to go ahead and show you the flush. That's always exciting when it flushes by itself like that. It's really neat. So the only thing that's working this whole system is the air pump located over there. It's a little uh, 40 watt air pump that's pushing that water all the way down this pipe to over here and down to these bins. Okay, we're getting ready to flush any moment now. Here's the bubbles. All the bubbles are gathering at the top. This is a collector barrel that's right here. I'm not totally completed with everything yet with it. But once the water starts flowing into this barrel, there's a pipe that goes back to the pond. And it, all the water flows back into the pond over there. So it's water recycled. The water from the fish pond is rich in nutrients for the plants. As the water goes through the system, it gets cleansed and goes back to the pond clean. All the air bubbles are almost out. There's still a few more little bubbles. It's getting ready to flush. There it goes a little bit more. A little more. And if you notice the water level is right close to the top of the bend there. I still need to make I need to put some additional valves on those to get the water flow even. But even though those are getting full back there, they're all filling up about the same level because the water finds its own level in each bend. Getting ready to flush. There it goes. When it flushes, you're going to really see it go. There it goes. Full flush. I was going to try to make a two minute video, but it's not really that possible. I could break this down. We'll make it just eight minutes.